When I coach students in our Asian American community on the importance of finding your own voice and self-advocacy, the common response is, but I'm scared. And that's when I tell them that the opposite of fear is not actually the lack of fear, but it's love. Have you ever loved someone so much that if you found out they were in danger, you would find yourself doing something courageous for them, something that you couldn't even imagine doing for yourself? I wasn't confident in my Mandarin, but I resonated with the children of recent immigrants who could not understand the Sunday school lessons, so I started to serve as a volunteer translator at church. I was pretty scared of going to a third world country, but when I saw families in need of housing, I went to Jamaica to help manufacture cement and build homes. I was once terrified of interviews, but by the time I was an upperclassman, I found myself creating panels and toolkits to help students get confidence to land their dream jobs. My message to the Asian American community is the same message that I have for my mentees. Instead of repressing your fears, think of the love that you have for your rich heritage or for your parents and their sacrifices. Through love, we can find the courage to speak up, to dispel stereotypes for both the immigrants before us and for the new generation after us. In times of darkness, love is the cure.